Hello everyone, Thijs here, streamer for G2, and I wanna talk with you in this video about teamfight tactics. I've been streaming quite a little bit of teamfight tactics lately, and I've been very enjoying the game. And what I've seen from the start when I was streaming it, there is quite a high request from the community on some beginner guides. I see there is quite a lot of questions regarding compositions you can play, different classes and champions, what items do you go for and how do you approach the game in general. And what I'm gonna try is to get through these topics here in this video and uh, I hope you will like it. To start off, I wanna talk a little bit about the items in general. Items are very important in teamfight tactics, way more important sometimes than champions and I think that is where the first step goes. A lot of people try to make their composition around different champions. Sometimes you should maybe look if you can maybe try to make your comp around the items that you're given and see if that can maybe make your composition better. To start with, the range composition. A uh, range composition is mainly built around Fane, uh, Varish, Ash, and in the later stage also Kinrod. A more uh, ranger comp is mainly looking for attack speed. And what is very good in these compositions is the Xerx Herald. Especially now it just got buffed again back to 15%. Uh, it's one of the very strong items you kind of want to run in an arranged uh, composition as it really scales the attack speed very well. Other ones you're looking for are mainly uh, damage. It can be very good, especially on Ash, to also get a Soldier going as it uh, uh, lets her speed up. If you later get into a little bit of a stage where you might combine it with either Elements or Glacial, it's very strong if you can get it going on Ash. And on the other ones as well, if you can maybe get a Kindred going, uh, if you get more Ultimates going, it can also be very powerful on her. Not sure if we win this, it's gonna be close. And here comes Foley! That is frozen. No! Ash Arrow! Ash! Oh, that Ash Arrow took so long. What? It's still frozen? What is going on, guys? How long is he frozen? Oh my god. He never got unfrozen. Another one is... Elementalist and I'm gonna combine Elementalist a little bit here as well with Sorcerer as they are looking for very similar things. What is different in League is that a lot of uh, more uh, uh, ability power champions are looking for uh, higher ability power. In Teamfight Tactics it's a little bit different. EP and also the Sorcerer compositions they are really looking for a bit more of attack speed compositions as well, what is a little bit similar to ranged, as it makes her abilities go off more often. Some good examples of that are Brand, Morgana, Figar, and in some cases also Ari. They are mainly looking for additional mana with a tier or attack speed to build towards better items. It's very good on these uh, champions to just get multiple ultimates going or could just get your ultimate going in general is way more important than any kind of extra ability power. Also the attack speed currently ma makes yourself going into very strong items with the rapid fire cannon and with the uh, uh, rage bow. So these items are also very good not just on range but on uh, EP champions and also on the elementalists. I definitely will advise you to look for these two items in general at the start and make your composition more towards that. If you have a lot of tiers in the early game, I will definitely consider going for an Elementalist or for a Sorcerer's Belt. It really stacks uh, super strong into the mid and also late game. Next up, Gunslingers. And Gunslingers are, I'm gonna combine a little bit with Pirates, especially in the early game. They combine very well. Gunslingers is a composition that is very good early game. It can sometimes fall off late game if you don't have the right items. So it can be a composition you want to get away from. But it's a very good early composition. Gunslingers are also looking for mainly attack speed and also for the red buff. It's both good on both Tristana and Graves mainly. Also a little bit of extra attack speed but also a BS sword in general is not very is pretty solid uh, overall. I would say that also with pirates combined in the early game it can give you a lot of extra gold. Pirates are pretty good early game especially now with uh, Twisted Fate in the game. It gives you a lot of extra early game pirate options with Pike, Twisted Fate and Graves. Later a Gangplank you can get a very early pirate composition going. 
You should definitely in the late game get away from pirates, but it's a very good transition combo and it gets you a lot of gold going, what is, as we all know, very important in TFT as well. Next up, assassins. And assassins, I'm also gonna combine a little bit with the ninjas. Assassin and ninjas is one of the compositions that I don't think many people realize, but is actually one of the best compositions at the moment. I have been winning a lot of games by going ninjas assassins as I feel it's a very easy compositions to roll into and they kind of got given very often as well with also still quite a lot of flexibility and one of the best counters towards all the gunslingers pirate combos in the early game what assassins are looking for is a bit dependent on the assassin akali is a way different assassin than for example a kha'zix or a zed but mainly assassins are looking for BF swords. What you can build around is extra power, more damage, even an Avinity Edge is very good. And especially on the Zed, the Kha'Zix and other like assassins in that category. There are some different assassins and that's mainly Akali, but also Evelyn uh, that are very strong as well on their uh, ultimate. And they are requiring you a little bit more of an attack speed or an AP build as it just gets more ultimates going, it goes very fast and especially Akali, it's one of the best carries at the moment in the game you don't even need much support around her, but she's very strong Red Lucian, <laughs> insta kill the Lucian, insta kill the, the soul all his damage is gone guys, we just kill him we just kill him, oh my god also the transition with uh, ninjas later, with four ninjas, it gets quite easy sometimes to just combine these two and it's one of the compositions I had a lot of success with and got me a lot of first places in uh, the first weeks I was playing. The last composition I kind of want to talk about is the Imperial composition, also sometimes maybe called as the Draven composition, with like Draven as your hyper carry or main carry. Oh, this Draven is hitting! Oh my god! This Draven! <laughs> Did you see that Draven? In this composition, it's um, Imperial is probably the best late game buff that is there around when all your Imperials are getting double damage. Uh, it's super strong. It's very strong as well because Draven and Swain are two of the most carries, uh, biggest carries in the late game at the moment. And what you look forward this year is to mainly uh, build your composition around either Swain or Draven. And especially on Draven it gets very very strong. Infinity Edge can be very good on Draven. An extra attack speed is very strong on Draven when it gets the Imperial buff going. So in general just having a lot of attack speed and extra damage is what you look for in the composition. But also Imperials already deal so much damage themselves. Sometimes I just go for one or two extra tanks, I just make them as tanky as possible as I can and I just hope they hold as long going so that my others can just carry the game. Uh, what very often gets you to either a first or a second place in my opinion. Other items I just shortly want to talk about as they are just very strong in any composition. Dragon's Claw is at the moment probably the best you can make uh, as in like a defensive item combined with the Phantom Dancer. They are two items that I really feel are super tanky and if you're just infinite for critical strikes, it makes that some, it also makes that other uh, champions just completely miss their hit, what just means that it just gets so little damage through, what is very strong. Uh, also the Dragon's Claw is very good against magic compositions, so definitely very solid in general. Also, in some compositions, it can be nice to have a Locket. Uh, Locket of the Iron Solari is a pretty solid uh, extra shield that you can give to all your allies. And especially in like more Sorcerer comps, it has like very good usement. And yeah, of course, be sometimes a little bit creative. Like, TVT is just a new game. There is not one direction you should go. If you think you can do a lot with like an extra Blade Master or with an extra Glacial fit in, it's very good sometimes to combine multiple. Uh, compositions together and get a little bit of everything or make yourself a, a, a hyper carry and build your, yourself like a brawler comp is something that is just very good if you have like one or two carries behind it so try to be a little bit creative and I think that can also be helping you a lot in uh, TFT. I hope this video got a little bit of the beginner tips going. TFT is a very new game so it's very hard to already 
say what is like the way you go. Riot is still updating the game a lot and uh, it makes also that items and, and champions just change a lot in power level but I hope with this introduction a little bit to all the classes it helps you a little bit on maybe on how you want to approach the game. And I would love in the comments to see what you think about this video, would you like some more TFT videos, do you have something feedback in general. Thank you all for watching guys, I hope you liked it and see you in the next time.